Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a track guide for Circuit of the Americas or COTA for short and um, this is going to be the first race of the AOR season so I wanted to sort of give a track guide for those who are practicing for AOR or those who just want to learn the circuit better. I'm currently in the Aston Martin, you can see me in my custom Performance Unleashed livery. Performance Unleashed is my tuning book which you can buy on Amazon in the paper copy or you can buy for Kindle. Um, the link is in the description so go ahead and order your copy if you want to learn more about tuning and sim racing and all that good stuff but anyway let's get stuck into the video and into this track guide so starting off the lap you sort of want to take a, a sort of slower entry in so you can maximize the exit of the last corner to start your lap i go down to first gear on the aston because the aston's acceleration is pretty poor in second so you want to get the best acceleration you can down the straight because it is quite a long straight and a very unique first corner literally turn one is up a massive hill but the way how you approach the corner you have to sort of use all the track on the on the entry you can see the breaking board right here pretty much on the 100 meter board it's like a a white painted line on the astroturf again we use all the track on the entry and as you hit your breaking markers you sort of turn towards the apex now most of the time most corners you want to stay as wide as possible on the entry before you turn to a corner but with this corner you sort of you break and then you turn towards the apex it is a, a definitely a, a unique corner you just want to get the car sort of turned as soon as possible so you break sort of towards the actual corner itself and you just slightly want to clip the apex there's a big sausage curb on the inside you don't want to hit that it will unsettle the car and means that you're you know, it's going to delay your acceleration, cause your traction control to kick in, which is going to lose you some time on acceleration. And um, it is a pretty short first sector. Most people think the first sector is within the S's, but actually the first sector, I think, is just as you're about to start the S's. So pretty much there's only sort of one or two corners before the first sector split. So you sort of want to make sure you maximize turn one because that's where a lot of time is going to be lost and gained. Now we get into the next section where track limits is a, a big factor and is a big factor to a lot of people's lap time so i'm going to stop it right here now most people through this section um may take it safe but trust me to get the good lap times you sort of have to just absolutely throw it in now me personally i keep it in fourth gear the whole time until i down gear to third some people might shift up which makes it a little bit harder to get back down the gears to to tackle this section so i'm going to slow it down you want to clip sort of each each little sausage curve you want to be clipping i actually thought I, I carried a little bit too much speed but i managed to just about bring it back it's so easy to invalidate but you have to be confident for this section dab of the brakes you want to keep it to the right hand side as much as possible and i don't down gear here either i keep it in the higher gears because it doesn't it doesn't knock off as much speed and your minimum speed is actually higher from the corner here now try not to commit i'm just going to go back slightly when you're going through this left hander you sort of want to push it halfway through but you don't want to push too hard because the angle of the next corner will become way more difficult and then you have to slow the car down even more even though the racing line actually looks as if you go right to the curb on the outside but you don't actually want to do that because then it makes it almost impossible to carry the speed for the next corner you sort of want to be in the middle of the track round about here so you can actually carry the speed through this tighter right hand corner because you need a good run out of this corner to maximize the middle sector see i'm pretty much in the middle of the track sort of towards the left hand side to the racing line how the darkish racing line on the, on the track surface now you could flick it down to first in this car but for me it's always about keeping up your minimum speed um, through this section you want to cut most of this curb as well it's pretty tight you sort of have to have your wheels sort of just just on the other side of the white line your left hand wheels and this is going to allow you to get the acceleration down as fast as possible make sure you have your damper setting sorted because you're going to need to bounce over that sausage curb and keep your foot down to maximize the exit as well very easy to get track limit warning on the outside of the track but we managed that section pretty much as well as we could have, I think. Maybe a tad little bit better for the S's. Again, we're gonna 
go into this corner we're going to use a lot of track and again we're going to look at the white painted lines pretty much i break pretty much right on this line for the aston martin some cars that might have better brakes maybe have to break slightly later but for me this next corner kind of depends on what car you're using because some cars are better off braking towards the apex for me because of the way how the aston martin accelerates i like to take a sort of a wider line in and straighten it up so i can get the power down i'm looking for minimal traction control to come in to bog me down because the acceleration on the aston martin is not the greatest so i actually stay out quite wide for this corner whereas a lot of people sort of just like turn one they sort of break towards the apex i try to stay sort of as wide as possible and then turn in at the last moment and that's how i feel like the, to get the best acceleration for the aston straighten up the wheel so i'm sort of pointing towards the outside of the track because i just want to get the wheel as straight as possible as fast as possible that's pretty much how i believe um is the fastest way for the aston now many people might say why are you driving off the track so it's like the the shortest line of resistance for whatever reason if you stay on the track or majority of the car on the track or in the middle of the track going down the straight it is a couple of thousand slower which is pretty weird but you know time is time and in the interest of time you've got to just choose the fastest option and having a half of your car on the sort of i don't know this red paint red painted um track layout i think it is and then going onto the Astro Turf, you want half of your car on here. Now for this braking zone, you're going to see another white painted line here. For this white painted line, you want to brake just after, just after that painted line. And again, this is another corner where you can brake towards the apex. I brake towards the apex in this corner because I feel like it gets the car slowed down a little bit quicker. Um, so you'll see me braking and sort of turning towards the apex for this corner. Now it can be tricky because if you get it wrong, if you break too aggressively, you can cause the back end to sort of snap around a little bit and you can get a little slide going into this corner. So it can be quite tricky. You want to make sure whatever you can do to get the power down as fast as possible, straighten up the wheel as fast as possible. And then once you're here, you want to get to the left hand side of the track pretty much straight away. Because for me, if you delay it, you sort of not breaking in a straight line then you make the next corner a little bit more difficult so you want to swing the car to the left hand side of the track just to get it um straight when you're braking so i swing the car left and then sort of breaking a straight line for this part right here because i believe it slows the car down quicker now again for the aston we're going to go down to first gear because there's just no no acceleration in second gear in the aston martin which is one of the things that is different for some cars and others most cars in this section of the track can keep it in second here in the aston i believe second is just way too slow so we go down to first gear we sort of want to get all the curb and just not hit the sausage curb straighten up the car as straight as possible don't follow the racing line because i believe it's actually slower you want to keep this as tight as possible and get the car as straight as possible because right about now this is where your tc is kicking in working really hard and you want the tc to help you but you don't want it to hinder you so try and get the car as straight as possible straighten up the wheel you'll see me sort of counter steering and trying to trying to control the traction and stuff like that we cut slightly over this curb now this next corner maybe this this may be a weakness for me i can tell you now that my, my sector times around this track are pretty good until i get to the last sector which we are in now um and i'm not sure whether it's the acceleration the aston maybe i need to try a different car but this is where i lose predominantly most of my time if i'm going off of my first and my middle sector i actually at the moment in practice for AOR, i actually have the fastest first and middle sector but my last sector is pretty bad and i don't feel like i made too many mistakes but um definitely lose a lot of time here now you sort of want to some people keep quite a tight line i tend to open it up a bit more only because i feel like the aston martin struggles so much on acceleration so for me the tighter the line that i take the harder it is to accelerate out of the corner so i try to take a wide line in so i can straighten the car up more and just get my foot down as early as possible i sort of focus a lot on the exit so i'll come out wide here down to first gear and we want to clip 
the curb on the inside. As I said, as soon as I can, I'm straightening the wheel up, straight on the throttle. Swing the car to the left because you're going to need to maximize the track. Probably could have went a little bit more left. You missed the first apex because you want to hit the second apex. And it's a short off the throttle, dab of the brakes. And what you want to do pretty much is get half of your car over this curb because for some reason it's like, you know, the car has a lot of resistance, a lot of G-force in this corner because it's such such a fast corner, high speed, but it's multiple, multiple apexes in one. So you sort of want to make sure you take the second curb, if I just go back slightly and forward that. You want to miss the first apex, which is right here. You want to miss that one slightly, hit the second one, sort of half the car over. You're going to have to sort of balance the throttle a little bit through here. And you want to keep it as tight to the inside as possible. We'll actually short shift up to fourth. And you don't want to run out too wide here because it gives you more work to get back to the right hand side of the track. So we're going to slow it down. Sort of in the middle of the track. And then I've got two wheels on the curb. I go down to second and then shift up early back into third to stop any sort of wheel spin and we've sort of nailed that nicely and as you get to the last corner you can sort of ruin your lap if you go too deep on the brakes again you can see we use a lot of the track and then i'm going to go down to first once more because that's how you get the acceleration in the aston i sort of take a late apex could have taken a little bit more straighten the car up as soon as possible straight on the throttle Oops, I folded it. Straight on the throttle, and that is um, a lap of Kota. Now I'm gonna put it in the chase cam and let it run in full speed so you guys can see what a lap looks like full speed. So again, it's definitely a, a tricky track, man. You, you have to be sort of wary a lot of track limits at the same time as being willing to use a lot of the track to gain your lap time because this is all about maximizing every part of the track as i said before you use a lot of the track going into turn one um pretty much nail the apex good acceleration um that is one thing about the aston it doesn't have crazy amounts of torque so it feels nice getting your foot down but it just struggles a little bit now i could have taken a little bit more off of that off of that corner on the right hand side so probably a little bit more speed to unlock through there but still uh, a good first and a good beginning to the middle sector again this curb as i said you want to take a lot of the curb to straighten up the car for the exit there use some of the exit curb not too much otherwise you will invalidate and as i said you can take different lines into this corner depending on what car you're using i tend to use the late apex and straighten up the car as much as possible. That for me is the most beneficial way in the Aston Martin, or if you're in a car that struggles with acceleration. Cars like the Lambo and Porsche, cars that just bolt out of corners, you're probably you're probably okay to take a, a much sharper, tighter line in the entry. Um, again here, I feel the best way for me, getting the car slowed down is to brake slightly towards the corner, swing the car to the left-hand side, down to first gear, we just want to straighten the car up on the exit as much as possible. You can see by the lines that we're laying down, how much traction we're using. Um, pretty deep into this corner, maybe I could have slightly um, taken a slightly more tighter line, but it was okay for the exit. And here we're going to cut slightly across this curb. Just keep the car to the inside as much as possible. Because as soon as you go out wide, it's going to be so hard to get it back um, towards the right hand side. Nail the second to last corner, use all of the track, turning again for the last corner, down to first gear, and we get a decent exit, and we manage a 204.6, which was pretty decent at the time, it was the fastest lap in the session at the time, I believe. 204.6, um, my fastest lap so far, I, what I will say though is, my last sector is, bro, it is crazy how much time i'm losing to the other guys in the last sector my last sector is insanely bad and you know i don't actually know why if you look at i believe the last sector actually starts around about here i think a lot of people a lot of people get confused to where the sector splits are 
at Kota, but I can tell you that the last sector actually uh, starts round about here. So you're still on the straight as you enter the last sector. It's a 49 second last sector, which is pretty long. So um, it's got a lot of corners in that time. So you can lose a lot of time. But for me, I'm absolutely blitzing the first in the middle. And the last sector, I'm losing as much as four tenths of a second. And it's only the fact that I'm able to do blistering first and middle. What's giving me these decent lap times. Um, I think I'm doing a 26 free and a 48 free in the, in, in the first two sectors of the lap. But then I get to the last sector and I'm doing 49 nines, which is, is rough considering there are people that are doing 49 fives. I'm not sure if it's car specific or, or car specific, um, but that seems to be my weakness at the moment. And we definitely need to find a way to improve, but I'm not sure whether it is the Aston. I'm definitely going to trial another car around here to see what time I get in the last sector. And if I'm able to go quicker than I know, maybe it's a car thing. If I'm not, then I'm just going to have to sort of focus on my last sector in the Aston, try and improve it as much as I can, because it is definitely tough, man. It is definitely, um, definitely tough seeing how much time i'm losing four tenths in one sector is a lot so um we shall see man hope this did help you guys out it's cryptic tmg man um as i said to you guys before want any help with tuning you can purchase my tuning book which is on amazon the link is in the description anyway guys like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace